Yeah, this is one fifth of what we do, healthy eating, cooking together. Harris is sharing details of One Heart Warriors, his leadership training that's done nothing but prosper since he launched it with the help of Faith Chapel seven years ago. Yeah, we pour into the individuals in five areas, physical, spiritual, mental, relational, financial. It's a program of roughly nine months coinciding with the school year. Bertha, who you see on the left, and Dominique are approaching graduation after rebounding from strenuous life paths. Dominique entered Job Corps as early as she could at 16 and again at 21. A lot of my family is toxic and so there's not really that option. I was in treatment. Bertha had been applying to different healing programs and after missing an email that she'd been accepted to One Heart, she was pretty disappointed until her manager answered a phone call. I was so excited, like just tell everyone, just jumping for joy. And because of that, you know, I broke my phone. <laughs> Harris, who played for the Steelers, Dolphins, and Saints, voluntarily gave up his NFL dream for this bigger one. It now reaches the entire country. We've had people go back uh, to Hawaii. Uh, we've had people from Mexico City, California. One of the creative funding sources for One Heart can be seen on vehicles, like this one with specialty license plates. We were getting our own license plates personally for our vehicles, looked up and saw some license plates, some specialty license plates, and, and just inquired, how do you get those? Partnering with the state and their program to have a specialty license plate for nonprofit has been huge for us. With that revenue source and a combination of grants, Harris recently upsized to this one heart home near Rocky Mountain College. It's given us a lot of, uh, a lot of freedom to just dream again and, and just we were borrowing spaces and, and just kind of growing as a young organization, but now we feel like we're taking that next step. That includes the number of warriors he's been able to house, once nine, now up to 18. Bertha, who grew up in Crow, would love to return and guide others out of hardships she's endured. I want to uh, help others who've, you know, been through, the, been through the struggles of addiction and abuse. Dominique grew up in Billings. I want to advance in culinary arts, take up business administration, and also get into classes for counseling. One of the most intriguing angles of One Heart centers on Harris's original vision involving burning arrows. They had pristine arrow uh, uh, feathers, arrow tips, everything was, was going out and they would hit the ground. So I knew that had to do with leadership and knew it had to do with Native Americans. Um, young men and women, after they go through this program, go back to their wherever they came from, wherever they're, wherever they're launched out to, to cause that fire, a good fire that refines and, and helps for the next wave of leadership to come through. One arrow at a time. One Heart graduates are paying it forward. Scott Breen, MTN News.